Hello everyone, my name is Andrew Bonbosher, and today I want to show you guys how to make a steezy, moving, evolving pad sound using the rack extension made by Blamsoft, the Expanse Hyperwave Synthesizer. The track that you just heard was something I just made for this tutorial real quick, but I want to show you guys how to make that type of sound from scratch, so let's get started. For time's sake, I did copy and paste the notes to a new project here, and I also already have in my rack a combinator created. So just right click and create a combinator. In the combinator let's create an instance of Expanse. Make sure to right click on it and reset the device or initialize patch. Now at this point when it comes to the pitch bend or polyphony there are no right or wrong answers. Uh, in fact that's for this whole sound in general. I definitely encourage you to experiment with everything, um, but I'm just going to keep it the way it is for now since I am using about five notes for chords and that way it will let me add more notes if I want to. I'm going to keep the keyboard mode at retrig, so when I use the mod envelope to modulate certain parameters of the sound, um, it will retrigger every time I play a note. And I'm going to set the volume to about anywhere from negative four to negative three decibels. Um, for the sake of this tutorial, I'm going to do about negative 3.8 decibels. And you can always hold shift and click and drag to hone in on specific numbers. Now, in the first oscillator section here, we're going to change it from number 1 to number 28. That is the modern Yai. And we're going to set the position to about 85. Next, we're going to go to the mod section here. And mod 1, we're going to set to saturate. What it does is it starts to give it a little more gain and a little more color, and it also starts to provide a little bit of clipping properties, which, which provides a nice little bit of distortion, depending on how much you want it on the wheel here. So I'm going to set this to about 28.1%. Next, I'm going to go to the unison section. I'm going to keep the tuning linear, and I'm going to set the density to 2. I'm going to set the detune amount to about 25%. And for the first oscillator, we're pretty much set to go there. I'm going to go to the amp envelope, and I'm going to just slightly decrease the attack. And I'm going to have the sustain a little lower than all the way up. Um, it is a pretty big sound, so um, I want it to be a little low. But again, completely up to you how you'd like to do that. Um, I did have it in units for beat divisions in the tutorial um, in the project before, so I'm just going to set it to that. I set the attack to 1 16th and then I set the decay to 1 fourth and then the level for the sustain at about 7.5 the release is at about 1 quarter too so it has a nice tail but when it comes to actually introducing the note when I play it um, it won't click because it's not too early um, but it's not too late so it's a good medium now if I play the sound as it is right now um, it's going to be very bright and loud so I would just for where we are right now we're going to mess with the filter here but I'm just going to turn it down just so that way it's not too loud so this is what we have now and as you can hear when I increase the filter cutoff it starts to get really bright but that's what we want it to do when we use the mod envelope here in a bit. Next we're going to go to the second oscillator first. And we're going to set this from number 1 to number 32. That is PD Res 1. We're going to set the position again to 85. And next we're going to go to the mod, mod section here. We're going to set the mode to clip. And it does exactly what you think it does starts to give it gain and clipping properties for just a nice level of distortion. We're going to set this to about 18.8%, so nothing too crazy. It's more supplemental than anything. Next we're going to go to the unison section here, and we're going to set it from linear mode to square mode. What square mode does is that it starts to um, duplicate the waveform, but it does it in even intervals, so it does a nice spaced out sound instead of uh, random or linear or different types of tuning. We're going to set the density to 3 this time and we're going to set the detune amount to about 43.8 percent. Now at this point 
what we're going to do is we're going to increase the mix level of oscillator 2 completely up to taste to be honest so at this point um, I would just set it a little less than the initial oscillator because that's going to be the lead oscillator per se I would set it to about negative 11 decibels but again completely up to you now what we're going to do is we're going to go to this oscillator section here we're going to clip click on this which will copy all the parameters of the patch here we're going to go click on the third oscillator and we're going to click here to paste the exact same parameters over to here but in the third oscillator we're going to alter the position to about 73 and then we're going to go to the detune amount of the unison and set it to about 50 percent so higher than oscillators two, oscillator twos now we're going to pan left and pan right for these two oscillators. You can pan right or left for either two or three, completely up to you. I would recommend it about 46% for both. So negative 46% and then 46%. That way we'll start getting some nice width with this pad. Now at this point, we can definitely take a listen to see what we have. And again, it is pretty loud, but that's what we're going to do with the filter cutoff later so it doesn't become too overpowering. And we'll make it evolve with the mod envelope. But first we're going to go to the filter 1 section here. We're going to change it from SK low pass 12 to the state variable filter low pass 24. Next we're going to set the filter cutoff to about 40 hertz. Just a little above the absolute minimum. We're going to set the resonance to about 39.1%. Then we're going to set the filter envelope amount to about 66.4%. If you want to turn on keyboard tracking, that is completely up to you. For this tutorial, I'm just going to leave it alone. And then next, we're going to keep the mod envelope 1 section modulating the low pass filter here. So we're going to go to the graph here and we're going to set this from units from seconds to beat divisions we're going to set the attack to about seven quarters almost two bars but one quarter short so when we sustain the notes for two bars long it'll actually have a nice peak for about a quarter bar where it's a full filtered effect now if we did it to eight quarters it would all the way to the point but then uh, we wouldn't be able to hear the absolute top of the filter but again that is completely up to you how you'd like to do that the decay will stay at about one quarter. The sustain will be at about 7.06, but again, completely up to you. 7.10 also works. Oh, there we go. All right, sorry about that. Next, we're going to set the release to about one quarter and keep it like this. Now, and again, you can always click and drag the curve to make it a little more interesting for yourself. If you wanted to do it like that, by all means, you can do it however you like. Now, if we took a listen to what we have, you'll start to hear what we get. And it all depends on where you put the filter cutoff frequency here. Now, we're going to go to the mod matrix next, and we're going to set the first source, it's going to be mod envelope 1. We're going to set this to about 40.6%. And we're going to make the first destination oscillator 1's position. Then we're going to set the second knob for destination 2 to about 12.5%. And destination 2 will be oscillator 1 mod 1 amount. That way this will start to affect the position as well as the mod amount. Next we're going to go to the third knob. And we're going to set this to about 46.8%.
And we're going to set the destination 3 to oscillator 2's position. Next, we're going to go to the second source. And again, we're going to use mod envelope 1. And we're going to set this to 40.6%. and we're going to use destination one as oscillator three's position so that way it is modulating the position of each oscillator next we're going to go to the second knob and set this to about negative ten point two percent we're in bipolar mode so negative ten point one also works and we're going to set this destination mount to filter one resonance Basically what will happen is the mod envelope will slightly decrease the resonance as the filter cutoff increases so it's not too bright and scratchy. But again, you can always lower the resonance manually, whatever works for you. And then in the third source, we're going to set this mode from, uni from bipolar to unipolar. That way the knob is from 0 to 100. We're going to set the mod wheel as the source, 42.2%. to the cutoff, simply just the cutoff. So depending on where you move the mod wheel, it will affect where the filter is and how bright it is and what it does. So let's take a listen to what we have so far. And as you can hear, we're starting to get a lot of motion, and it's starting to sound pretty cool. So to top everything off, we're going to go to the effects section here. And these types of parameters are really up to taste, but for a good guideline, let's just start off with the simple reverb. So click to activate it, and then go to the reverb effects section here, and set the load time to about 8.9 seconds. It's quite a long tail, but again, I just like it uh, a little... Uh, big when it comes to reverb with this type of sound. When it comes to the mid time, we're going to set this to about 8.2 seconds. And we're going to set the X over to about 700 hertz. That way, we're essentially splitting off the mids into the lows and the actual mids into the highs, if that makes any sense. Now, the damp will be at about 6.5 Hz, so it dampens out the higher frequencies just a little bit when it comes to the reverb. And we'll set the delay to about 47.3 milliseconds. And of course, I highly recommend messing with all these parameters. Completely up to you. The modulation amount will be at about 70.8%. That way we'll start to modulate the delay and give it some more body. And next we're going to set the modulation rate to about 4.27 Hz, so it starts to give it a nice vibrato effect, but it's really subtle. The mix percentage is completely up to you, but I just like to keep it at 25% and call it good. And at this point, the patch is essentially done, so let's take a final listen to what we have. And remember, you can always use the mod wheel to increase or decrease the cutoff. And there you have it. We just created a nice, steezy, evolving, moving pad sound that can be used with pretty much anything. But um, I really hope you guys enjoyed it, and uh, I hope we all learned something. Thank you so much for watching, and um, I would love to hear any feedback, comments, concerns. Um, tell me what you did with this patch. What I'll be doing is I will be saving this patch as ABB. Actually, let's save it as the free patch. There we go. ABB moving pad tutorial expanse and I will make that available to you guys with this video um, but again thank you so much for watching and um, we're all students in this so please tell me uh, what I can improve upon or what you did with this again and um, I just hope you guys have a good day and uh, we'll see y'all next time